Hey everybody, a happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having an amazing weekend. If I look a bit bedraggled, it's because I actually recorded the Sunday musing first and I didn't use an umbrella because, well, you'll see. Because of what I was talking about, I didn't want to have my face in shadow and so poor life choices poor life choices as you can see it is raining here um, at my house and that is fantastic because it means more rain and it's very much needed for the garden look at those happy little plants kind of a bob ross moment there not happy little trees although i'm sure those trees are happy but happy little plants um everything is is getting a good watering uh in some parts of the garden it's been watering all day it's been raining even all day and in some parts of the garden it's getting a bit boggy and of course in typical pacific northwest fashion i am wearing a hoodie rather than a coat and i'm also in my sandals i did have socks on and then i stood in something that i won't talk about so the socks are now in the washing machine but anyway the beans are doing incredibly well at the moment. They're still producing. There'll be some lovely beans on there for me this week. And the peas, uh, as last week, they've kind of given up. They, they really have given up. And that's okay. I'm okay with, 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 with beans and peas that are giving up. My sprouts are doing really amazingly well. Despite being attacked by whitefly, they are still doing okay. The problem is they're now large enough that deer can help themselves. And I'm sure the deer will start doing that very, very soon. The broccoli is still doing incredibly well. This rosemary, this was given to me by my friend Bill earlier this year. And this rosemary is just in love with this particular place and is growing amazingly well. In, in uh, courgette or zucchini land, we don't have any uh, courgettes or zucchinis yet. But we do have some squashes, which I will show you. Uh, there's one down there. There's another one over there. But again, these are really doing incredibly well um, and enjoying all of the water. So I'm sure we'll get a growth spurt after the broad beans or the fava beans. We've got another set of shoots coming up. So I need to get in there, hopefully sometime over the long weekend, and take out the, the ones that have died down naturally and um we'll go from there i do have a question though if you are a gardener and you're watching this some of my um so we've had something really weird happen some of our corn has grown outside of the cob like outside of of, of its protective skin and i'm not entirely sure why uh, it's mainly the painted corn that did that um and a little bit of the popping corn uh, they grew they've grown pretty well the other corn is just taking its sweet time and I don't know what's going to happen I think I may have screwed up with the corn this year and that's okay we learn from our mistakes meanwhile the chickens are all protesting because it's raining and they don't like rain they were out earlier they were having fun earlier in in when it was raining a little bit less strongly they were they were doing all right but it is late ish in the afternoon it's like five heading towards six i have had the day from hell or rather we at the channel have had the week from hell so i'm actually going to nip through here try not to get water on the gopro try not to slip and i'm actually gonna put the chickens to bed because they won't want to be out anymore in this rain so let me do this. Hello, Chuck Chucks. Are you fed up? They are fed up. You can tell they're fed up because they're right down the far end and they're looking really miserable and a little bit wet. But I made that little shelter for them and they really seem to like that. So that is good. See if I can back out of here without getting water on the GoPro. Please forgive the terrible camera work today doing my best i should stop apologizing really strangely enough so if you watch this a couple of weeks ago you'll know that um sky one of my dogs uh had an unfortunate run-in with some bees and she ended up getting stung like multiple times well this morning 
it's either this morning or yesterday when I was out with um, my dogs um, Ghost who is our older border collie I've managed to get chicken feed on my on my bare feet um, my my older border collie he went snuffling for a ball and ended up sticking his nose in that same bee's nest luckily I saw him do it and I called him and he came running just as the, as the bees were going to come out and attack him. They didn't get him. They sort of snuffled around my Labrador River. And she was smart enough to get out of the way pre PDQ. Look, look at this. If that isn't the best thing about having chickens, I don't know. Lovely fresh eggs. So that is an egg. That one needs to be washed. That is an egg. And that one is an egg. These two are fake eggs. But there you go. Three lovely eggs. I will put them in my hoodie and not forget that they're there. Not that I've done that before, you understand. I mean, it's a thing. <laughs> um, and I'm trying very hard not to get water and stuff on the camera. Anyway, that is what has been going on here. Um, we haven't had any more blackberries um, because we've just been really busy. Uh, my wife has been working 12 hour days, 13 hour days. I have been working 13 hour days. We're all a bit knackered. But what I have done this week, we did get some more um, apples down and we made some more apple butter. Um, I dug up the remainder of the potatoes in the far potato tubs, but we still have some volunteer potatoes to work through which is lovely. And our roses are still flowering despite it being, you know, getting getting on in the season and the sunflowers are kind of giving up. The roses are doing pretty darned well. And you know what? After a stressful week, after a stressful couple of days, coming out here and just wandering around the garden and showing you all this is a really enjoyable thing. I don't know how many people watch this. I know not many people watch it and I know not many people enjoy it, but I hope those of you who do enjoy it with me because it's, I don't know, I feel incredibly lucky having a lovely garden, even though it's sometimes a little bit rough around the edges and certainly not, you know, Kew Gardens and, and show homes and gardens, you know, worthy. Anyway, that is it for today's show. Tell me about your gardens. Did you get rain this weekend? Have you got rid of the horrible forest fire smoke if you're in the in the PNW like us? And we had it a little bit earlier today, but now it's well and truly gone. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts and your experiences below. On that note, we are done with today's video. If you have those comments, drop us a polite note in the Discord chat room on Mastodon. Or if you're a Patreon supporter, you can reach out to us there. If you want more, subscribe, hit the bell and follow the links below to regularly support us to the YouTube membership or a Patreon subscription. You'll also find links to Kofi, Bitcoin and our swag store, as well as that aforementioned Mastodon server. Scrolling on my right is the list of amazing Charged Up supporters. And shout outs go out to our V2G Patreon supporters. They are Alan Topper, Andrew Martin, Bennett Elder, Brophy Wolf, Chris Maxwell, Cyprian Laplace, Dan Blair, Gordon C. Hey, S. Uh, already said Cyprian Laplace, John Tramal, Carl Fox, Mark Eggleton, Peter Dillinger, Raging Fellows, Sean Tucker, Stefan Fremgen, Stephen Williams, Tazlet in the Gong, Paul Bricknell, Tony Moss, Carl Hodgson, Chris Asentar, Denny Hyde, Lance Schall, Linda Irish, Mike Weeder, and Paul Nelson. And finally, big thanks to our off-grid supporters, Paul Conway, Kevin Burrowbridge, Stephen O'Donoghue, Jim Burness, Robert Flannery, Aaron Hahn, Ellery Hensley, Rory Litwin, J.P. Fagerback, Dave Kitchen, Andrew Glenn, Anonymous Freak, Chris and Michael Johnson, Clay Witt, CPU Freak 101, Eric Knack, Joe Bresney, John Henderson, Laura Reynolds, Marcel Ward, Matthew Drobnack, Nigel S., Reggie Watts, Will Graylin, and of course, Ian Don't forget that we make content every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday on our main channel. And then on a Sunday, you can find us here on Transport Evolve Take 2 for the Chicken and Garden update, which is the thing that you've just watched for whatever reason you've chosen to watch it. And then our Sunday Musing, which is coming in a second, in which I get very wet because I'm going to be standing outside with no umbrella. And yes, I know, because I recorded them backwards. That's why my hair is the way it is right now. I'm going to release the hounds because there's an angry border collie who can see me through the window and wants to come outside and get equally wet and muddy so he can roll all over the house and get mud everywhere. So I'll go do that. Whatever you enjoy next, have a good one. Stay safe, be kind, be an ally. And until next time, keep evolving. Keep evolving.